are more very nasty updates in this Blueface and his baby mama drama saga. And child, this time things got really messy because it's been confirmed that Krishan has been on Blueface's tip for a second baby. And get this, Blueface has still been hooking up with Krishan, even though that man hasn't even been engaged for all the five minutes. And for some reason, Krishan wants to jump Jaden. Every time I think they drama can't get no worse, it does. So am I shocked? Yes. But am I surprised? Absolutely not. But let's just get into it. So for those of y'all who aren't in the loop or just can't keep up because it's too much going on and I definitely don't blame you. This drama actually started after Blueface proposed to Jaden. Y'all know I love Jaden, right? Y'all know this is one of my dreams, right? And it's And let's be real, we all had mixed feelings about how the proposal went because of the timing of it all. Like, he was just complaining on the internet two weeks ago about how Jaden was a hater. And it also felt like he was just doing it to make Krishan jealous. And of course, there's the whole thing of him trying to secure the bag because Jaden just signed a deal with Columbia Records. He also dissed Krishan, saying, I got somebody who ain't never been with nobody else. Can't nobody say they ever had my wife. I won. Jaden got two kids, one BD and a ring. She's really her for real. Follow behind these girls if you want to. I got a real B on SY. And obviously, Krishan responded to Blueface. She went on IG Live to comment on Blueface proposing to Jaden and said, Can I be honest? I think that whole was probably a, um, a publicity stunt. Because that same day, I mean, I feel like I don't even have to say that. Because, that's mine. Long story short, don't believe the internet. Krishan then dropped a bombshell that Blueface initially bought the ring for her and not Jaden. Fans were obviously not sure if they should believe Krishan or not, but I mean, it is Blueface and he's toxic as but just a few days later, Jaden was flaunting off that ring and fans noticed that it was kind of small for Jaden's fingers and it had her fingers turning purple. This made fans believe that Krishan was probably right all along and Blueface definitely proposed to Jaden with Krishan's ring. While everyone was still talking about the Blueface proposing situation and how it's definitely possible that that ring was meant for Krishan, she shocked the world when she revealed that she was pregnant. Uh I always knew I wanted to be a mom. I always knew I wanted to have 12 kids. So one down, one on the way, and how was the last 10 to go? And Blueface's silence over her revelation made fans believe that she was telling the truth because y'all know Blueface got a big mouth and he definitely would have dragged her if she was lying. Krishan then made a revelation days later that she and Blueface spent the night together and got intimate. I think me and Blue, wanted, we want to leave each other alone. We really do, it just never will happen. <laughs> I can't give him what he want, he can't give me what we want. So we just have that, that toxic ass sex. That toxic ass, I ain't never leaving. <laughs> Oh, but she didn't stop there. She posted a video of her and Blueface on the phone where he was trying to link up with her. I'm not a weirdo. There's no winning with you. I try to fuck with you on the game. Then she talked about regretting linking up with him because he hasn't even publicly claimed her son. She tweeted, telling him no today was a step, but how do you get rid of a soul tie? I really had to take a step back because still giving a part of me to him is effed up to my son. How I let a man that doesn't want to be a father to my son still in me. Man, then this man texted me today and I almost fell for that ish. Like, what the F am I doing for real? I'm looking at my son like hold up cut the immature selfish ish out y'all i'm so disappointed with myself right now hey blue go f yourself stop hitting me bruh go find another b to cream on you plus homie that ish is unsafe and unsanitary and then the jason lee podcast happened and this is where things got really really messy so krishan appeared on the jason lee show where she revealed that she was hooking up with blueface 
place literally days after he and Jaden appeared on that same show. She also revealed that they went unprotected and all of this happened while she was literally still bleeding. When was the last time you guys had sex? The Thursday just passed. Which was after their interview here. So what is the relationship with, and you guys didn't use a condom. Huh? You guys didn't use a condom. No. And you say he nutted you. I was you. scared of blue because I know, and why did you have six? six? It wasn't that, it was just like, you just he was can't like, Rashawn, I said, I'm still bleeding. I said, you want bloody blue? He's like, on oh, crib. Wait, like, can we stop there? A crib wanting bloody <laughs> That's too much, the crib and blood. <laughs> <laughs> and so what if you're pregnant again? Oh, he's just a sperm donor. I don't want, I don't just want babies. I want 12 kids. Krishan's interview with Jason Lee didn't really go well with Blueface, and he called Krishan out, claiming, Of course, I watch the BS. It's all about me. I'm literally watching an adult say they was loyal, writing for me, but playing me the entire time at the same time. I lost brain cells trying to make that make sense. The way I see it, all parties involved were adults, fully aware of their actions and accepting of what's happening. Nobody denied knowingly and willingly participating after all the train of events. So acting dumb slash playing dumb slash victim slash survivor sounds dumb when it's all said and done. Krishan then went on IG Live to expose Blueface for sleeping with her while they were in Miami. She then accused Blue of deleting all the messages between them on that day while she was asleep so she wouldn't have any proof. And then I didn't block you just because I blocked you because I realized you went through my phone. Cause give me your phone. Let me start deleting shit out your phone. Let me delete that say we just made. Like, let me, let me, let me, let me. Like, boy, stop being a fucking weird ass. Blueface clapped back and said, post the receipts, post the receipts, make sure you post time and dates, we want receipts, not no coupons. But yeah, Krishan managed to recover all of those deleted text messages and she posted the screenshots of she and Blue talking literally just the other day. She tweeted, I told you where I was going. You ended up leaving after they played my song. I asked for the room number, you sent it and was waiting until I got done having fun. I I told you on the phone how you made me feel. I literally blocked you after linking. I left you this morning to catch my flight. You started acting like a female because you thought deleting messages was gonna save you so you can lie. In one message, she asks, what's your room number? And he goes on to explain that his phone died and that he wishes her a good night as she might be out partying. He then later sends that room number in a third text, room 23201, but Blueface said that Krishan was the one stalking him and forcing him to link up. He tweeted, y'all want to know the real tea? She followed me to Miami, stayed in the same hotel as me. She knows I only stay at Fontaine Blue. She found out I was at the party from Bobby Light's messy ass. So she came and got the section next to mine, walks in, try to come and stand with me like we cool and I politely declined. She started crying and ran to the bathroom, gave her pendant away Way and I left. End of story. But that wasn't the end of it. He also said that Krishan was literally trying to force him to have another baby, complaining about being a single parent but wanting another kid with the alleged same person as your first child has to be a sign of mental illness. Chow, I don't know how you feel about Krishan, but from where I'm standing, she really needs to do some serious healing. Like, why are they so obsessed with somebody who won't even publicly? claim his own son. He said time and time again, he's a serial cheater and he don't plan on stopping no time soon. It just doesn't make any sense to me. Anyway, that wasn't the end of it because for some reason, Krishan decided to come for Jaden and warned that she should watch herself or she's gonna pull up to their house and get her and Blueface beat down. Again, makes no sense to me because jaden has been minding her business. Anyway, people are just sick and tired of they mess. And here's what they had to say. Ain't no way I would still be dealing with a man who can't constantly denies and disrespects my baby. Blueface doesn't even acknowledge her son. She can't blame him for nothing that happens to her at this point because she keeps going back after he's shown her who he is and who he's gonna remain to be. She's the definition of insanity, shakes my head. Crying and doing the same 
and expecting different results, lol. He ain't changing for her or nobody else. She wants to give him the grace and forgiveness because she wants the family she never had growing up, which I get to a certain point, but she gotta realize she doesn't love him. She's trauma bonded. Anyways, it's about that time for y'all to let me know what y'all think in the comments. Cause I mean, who's the real problem? Is it Krishan or is it Blueface? Until then, let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below and don't forget to click here to watch this other messy video.